Hello and welcome to Chad Magic. My name's Christian. And I'm Wally. And today we're celebrating the release of Dungeons & Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves by throwing down with the new commanders from the new secret lair. What's coming up, Christian? Well, uh, we've got Nathan and Tom coming back, so you know it's going to be a fantastic, very political episode. Very spicy, always is, yeah, yeah, yeah always spicy is with Nathan stuff. and Tom. We built our own decks using the commanders, of course. I'm the Paladin. And I'm going Doric, Mono Green. Never played Mono Green before, very excited. Yeah, so um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We love the interaction with the episode. It's fantastic. And there's some rewards if you do. Yeah, so you can win this Dominaria Remastered Draft Booster Box. And it's really easy. All you've got to do is first subscribe to the channel. And secondly, share one of our videos on any social media you like. It could be Facebook. It could be LinkedIn, Instagram, Bebo. I don't know what else Tinder. there is. Tinder. Yeah, why not <laughs> Tinder? But once you send us the evidence that you've done that, send it to the email address below. Can't wait to see what you've done. Then when we reach 5,000 subscribers, one person who's done that will have their name drawn out of a hat and this box will go to them anywhere in the world, free of charge. All we want to know is what cards do you get out of it? Because I just know every single shooter. There's going to be some there. spicy stuff, loads of shooters, loads of really great cards. Yeah, free counter spells, all that sort of thing. Absolutely. It's all in there, of course. And subscribing costs you absolutely nothing, but if you want to go one step further, we do have the launch of our Patreon, which will be along here right now. And uh, we'll bring up all the names of our wonderful, fantastic, amazing patrons, wonderful people, a lot of you. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, they're hanging out right now with us in the Discord. So if you want to access the Discord, don't forget to become a patron as well. And for those of you who don't want to do that, just subscribe, like the video, we love you as well. And don't forget to comment as well because we read every single comment. Sure do, and we try to reply as many to, you, to as many as we can. Yeah, we reply to as many as we can. And uh, we're big lovers of D&D ourselves, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's do it. And just like magic, we're back and ready to play. You're loving my puns, aren't you? I am. Perfect. Love yeah, it. thank you. Just as many as possible, please. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows puns are the highest form of wit. Yes, Correct. That's what everyone says. So we're here and we're ready to play our D and D Honor Amongst Thieves Secret Lair Commanders. What are you playing? So I am going to be playing the wonderful Forge, better known as Mickey Blue Eyes, because I don't know what he does in the movie. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you I haven't seen the movie. No, I haven't seen. The, oh, haven't you're seen not going to see now. the movie. Really However, um, I do have a lot of treasure because I'm going to be claiming his checks from his royalty-free stuff, from his dad's <laughs> music career. That is a very big deep cut for Hugh Grant there, uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing, getting his treasure from his Christmas song from his dad. That's an about a boy. It is Reference indeed, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. a quality, quality I mean, movie. I was going to go a bit further, but I'm going to keep the deep cuts of Hugh Grant for a little bit while. Oh, okay, cool. Well, hopefully we'll get to hear them later on. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Christian, and I'm playing Zenk, Zenk, Paladin Unbroken. Um, basically, it's an Aura's deck. Um, wants to basically do aura type things. It gives all my auras exalted, so I'll be hitting, swinging in for big hits. And I've actually brought my own paladin from our D&D campaign, Cassius, uh, which is really cool. Well, I think it's cool anyway. <laughs> um, I'm Tom. I'll be playing Edgar Larsenist Lucinist. Yes, you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah well, it's, it, it, it might get worse throughout. Uh, basically, <laughs> all my cards have foretell, and then if I play, obviously, two spells a turn, in any turn, um, I get to goad something, so I just want to goad you. Goading, I, I've seen that happen on the show before and it ain't good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 go and watch the start of the next episode if you haven't watched it. But anyway, my name's Wally and today I'm playing Doric Nature's Warden. It's green legendary tribal, so I'm playing all the worst green legendary creatures I could find. I'm gonna <laughs> swing in with trample, I'm gonna pump them, I'm gonna play some lands, it's classic green stuff. Everyone ready? Yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah. let's go. Perfect. I can't pick up my cards because I'm too excited to get treasures. <laughs> um, so since I'm first, I'm going to draw for my turn. Uh, I'm going to play a Swamp. Um, and then I'm going to tap the Swamp to play a Blood cho Soaked Champion. Oh. Uh, I can't English. It can't block. I can't English. Um, I can't English today, apparently. But um, here he is. He's a 2-1. He's big. He's strong. And he's going to swing in next turn. Uh, over to you, Christian. Okay, I will draw. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a spicy star, guys. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to Urza's Saga, which comes Ooh, in. Ooh, nice. I'm going to tap that for a colourless to play a Sol Ring. Okay. Yeah. Christian's the threat to kill him. And I'm going to mm -hmm. pass. Oh, we all know no. that about Sol Ring Term 1. <laughs> okay. Seems like everything's very... That's very... like a, a Tom start, that. Yeah, yeah it's it's, like a it's, start, it yeah. seems very spicy. So I'll play a, an island. And um, I'm going to tap the island to play 
um, pre, pre, pre <laughs> yeah. I can't Pre-ordain. English. <laughs> yeah. Pre-ordain. Um, to scry to, then draw a card. Nice. We're calling your deck a dyslexic nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah this is going to be a common theme. <laughs> to be fair, Tom, I've got a lisp as well, so I can't say uh, your commander's name either. Larsonist. Larsonist. Lutonist. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so you're leaving one on top, one down to the bottom. Yeah, and then yeah. I'm going to draw the card on top. Okay, my go. Yep. Right, I will draw my card for turn. I will play a forest and I have no no turn one plate, so I will pass the turn. <sighs> loser. Yeah, <laughs> such a loser. Right, so I'll untap, I'll what draw the hell that feels? I'm just playing nice, fair magic. Here. I have a lot of things I can do on turns. Um, so that's, that's not what you want to hear, is it? I'm going to first by tapping one. I'm going to play a Forsworn Paladin. Oh. Uh, he's got Menace. Uh, I can make treasures to get his royalty check. Um, so, do you know what? I'm just going to tap one and I'm going to play it. Skull Clamp. Oh, um, that seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and um, no one has any blockers, so since we've declared the threat of the Sol Ring, I'm going to swing to Thank you. At you, Christian. Yeah. I deserve it. Yeah, the yeah. Sol Ring deserves it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then pass. I'll untap, upkeep, draw. This will trigger to two. It now has two and tap to create a zero zero colorless construct artifact creature token, which gets plus one, plus one for each artifact I control. I'm going to play a Planes as my land for turn. And then I'm going to pass it in. Okay. Very it's ominous. Yes. Such draw. a pregnant yeah. pause, wasn't it? I know, yes. I know. All right, like, we'll play a command tower. Best land in magic. And I'll pass it. All right. right. I'll a draw my card there. for turn. I'll play a forest. I will tap Ooh. two for a nature's law. So I'll search my library for a forest card, put it on the battlefield untapped, then shuffle. Uh, I, don't have a, I don't have a one drop, so Nathan, I'll pass to you. Cool, sweet. So I will untap, draw my card. Um, I will then, that's not what you want to see on top, uh, but I'll play a Phyrexian tower. Um, I will then have decisions to make, I think. So I'm going to tap two. I'm going to play an Ornithopter of Paradise. Oh, um, oh. And I'll tap that for that. And do a one and play. Uh, oh, ooh, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I should look where I'm going. Uh, Warlock class. Um, apparently, I just drew all the one drops in my deck straight away. Um, and I'm going to go to combat and I am going to swing. Do you know what? Uh, I'm going to swing the Paladin at you, Christian, again. And I'll swing the Champion at. Uh, Wally, why not? Okay, so I take one and Wally takes two. Yeah. I'll take two. Yeah, so very, very fair. And with that, I'll pass to Christian. Okay, I have some stuff to do on your end step. Cool. Uh, I'm going to tap these to make a construct, which will be a 2 2. And then I'm going to tap the white and I'm going to cast Enlightened Tutor. Oh. So he's going to find the best artifact in his deck then. He's still one that could be. I'm going to find Restoration of a Ganjo. Okay. Yeah. We'll. Untap, I'll draw the restoration of a Ganjo. Mm-hmm. This will trigger with that trigger on the stack. I'm going to tap it for a colorless. She's ring again. So yeah. I'm going to find a artifact with mana cost zero or one and put that onto the battlefield. But you've got your soul ring, Christian, so what could you possibly want? I want a commander's plate. Oh, it's so good in this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh. really, really good here. Because um, no one else is That's playing I one. Really out. scary. I feel like I should have put one in. Right, then Oops. I will play my land for turn, which is a planes. I'm going to tap for three to play Restoration of a Ganjo. Oh, but I can't have that, I'll have to count that. What, you won't let me repeat my Urza saga? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. enough. Yeah, that's that awesome. lost and it's glutinous. Yeah. Like Christian's had a really powerful start and I think yeah. that just slows so I, it down. Yeah. I guess I'll use that colourless and tap a planes for a SRAM senior episode. Luckily, me and Christian are friends, so he wouldn't see that as a... Um, and in the interest of friendship, <laughs> so I'm going to swing at you for two. Well, I, I, I will take the two. Yeah. Took one for the team there, so, yeah, yeah. And I'll pass the two. All right, I'll untap. I'll draw. Okay. I will play a mountain. I will then obviously tap for free to bring out Edgar. There he with is. His Loot, his little loot. Have you got a little loot? Um, some say the littlest, <laughs> <laughs> but, but play it very well. You play it very well, yeah. Play yeah, it very yeah, well. yeah. That's what I've heard. You'll, you'll have to strum it for us sometime. Yeah, of course I will. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> so did the loot. Yeah. yeah. Can, can I go to my go now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you said you wanted tap? some puns. Yeah, I did, I did say that. Uh, and um, puns is what you got. So I play a forest. It's smelling awfully pungent in here. Uh, <laughs> That's something nice else. One, yeah. uh, I think actually I might just play my commander. Uh, Tom, 
I think you know the last few games we've sort of been tearing bits off each other. Yeah, yeah. And it's only benefited Christian. Mm -hmm. So I think you know we can be friends, right? Oh, of course. A little white flag between us. No, okay, cool. Should cool, we cool. team up as well? Yeah, team up. Yeah, well, you, you, you can be part of. Our you can be a part. Yeah. Why would you not? Why do you want to see you sin? I am a charlatan, so who knows? Maybe I'll maybe yeah, I'll team up with some. Maybe I will. Well, I'm a paladin, and I honor my alliances. All right. Well, I think I'm actually just going to play my commander. So four mana for Doric, Nature's Warden. Nice. 3-3 three, three with Vigilance when she enters the battlefield. Search my library for a forest and put it onto the battlefield tapped. So there's my forest. Seems good. And when she attacks, I can pay two and transform her. And we'll see what happens there. And oh, I'll just pass to you. I've just realised, actually, sorry Tom, I hit you for three. Because the commander's plate is also an artefact. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, Nathan, it's your go. I cool. Think. Perfect. I will untap. Uh, untap these little guys. Let us draw. Um, and that wasn't a land, so that makes me sad. Let me just see what I want to do. Um, I will land just... makes sad. No, definitely. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to ramp the way I can by getting my royalty checks. Um, so here we go. Let's get some treasure in there. Now, do I want... There doesn't seem like there's any good attacks, really. I think Tom is worth attacking. Mm -hmm. I don't think Tom's worth attacking I don't all. think Tom's worth attacking. Yeah, I think Christian's worth attacking. C Christian's definitely asking for an attack. You know what? I'm going to do the, the, the Mad Lad play, and I am going to pay one to equip my Skull Clamp to my Blood Tooth Champion, which okay. will... Obviously, kill said. Yeah, seems champion. pretty good. Um, now there'll be a few triggers, so I'll get to draw two from this. Yep. Uh, but on top of that, it'll also trigger uh, war class at the on my end step. But first, let's draw the two. That is definitely not what I want to be seeing. Um, however, um, it will uh, go to my end step, so everyone will. Uh, if a creature died this turn, each opponent loses one life, so everyone loses one life, and I will pass to Christian. Do you need a life? Do you uh, need no, life? not this one. Okay. No. I'll untap and draw. Um, I'm going to tap for two, three, four. I'm going to do point two spells here. Uh, I'm going to play Grasp of the Hyromancer on the Construct. Um, it has plus one, plus one, and as whenever this creature attacks, tap target creature defending player control. I'm just going to put the four on just so we know how big it is. And trigger from SRAM, I will draw a card. The other um, spell that I'm going to cast is the is All That Glitters. Um, on here, trigger from SRAM, I will draw a card. That's very bad. Um, then, this is now currently a one, two, three, and then it's got four, then it's got one, two, three, four, five. So it's currently a nine. Now, Forge may not ever honour his uh, agreements and arrangements, but Hugh Grant does. <laughs> so if that, um, that, you, you got any removal? I talks? think that Tom's very sense. quiet at the moment because <laughs> yeah. I think he kind of knows where this is coming. <laughs> so um, I'm going to swing my. Sorry, I haven't got this on it. I'm going to swing my nine nine at you, Tom. It's going to trigger. When it triggers, I tap your commander down. Oh, that's a big. I'll swing. take nine. Um, wow, Tom. Then that's a, that's brutal. I'm going to play an Aganjo as my land for turn. I'm going to tap that for an Alcyon of Life's Bounty. And I will pass it in. So, Wally, what, what what do you think he really wants on his board? Um, I think everything over there is quite scary. You, I think what's dealing the... with the commander's plate is probably quite important. Commander's though. plate, I play a mountain. I don't um, know if you can. Wally, if you continue to politic with Tom, <laughs> I can <laughs> shut down your commander in a way that will basically render oh, your deck. Does this relevant. untap? Does this untap on my so, turn? By the way, we yeah. should work together because um, I would rather use that so, to top. So, do we get rid of? The, I, I, I can I can get rid of the, his commander's plate. I can get rid of his soul ring as well. Uh, there isn't a lot. I mean, I think everything. Uh, this is this will draw in cards. This is just scary. and is going to keep getting bigger. Uh, he can just cre keep creating these, can't he? He's that, oh. No, 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 no. They, you only get the one. You only get the one token. Yeah, unless he gets his Urza uh, sword back somehow. Oh, okay. Well, that 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 makes it easier for me. Does it? Doesn't it not? Um, I will pay free to Ravenfall. Sure. So um, this exiles. I'll draw my own bird. <laughs> um, and then we uh, go to attacks. And Christian. Ooh. He can double block it. He could double block it. Is he that petty? Well, I mean, losing those two things might be. I mean, it's up to you. It is up to me, isn't it? Let him double block it. I'll pay. I'll pay. The, 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 uh, well, maybe you can throw the bird at it yeah, as well. The bird's there too. Oh! I mean, it would still be. I mean, no, it's, it's not going to be great for anyone. No, it's not. Else. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Do you know, Tom, I feel like you've lost a lot of life there. I have. That's I have. a big swing. Yeah. yeah. So early he did counter something. Yeah. And and as Wally will attest to, because Wally hates counter spells, 
someone counters your thing, they are indeed the enemy. Yeah. Well, I we'll take countering very personally, I have to say. Um, yeah, I think I, this is probably a pretty good play. So I'm going to tap for three Ooh. to Kadama's Reach. <laughs> so I'll go find one forest to the battlefield tapped and another one to my hand, which, spoiler alert, will be my land drop for turn, because I'm going to play that forest, and I'm going to tap three to play Enris Gloomstalker. It's got Death Touch, and whenever he attacks, I can return target land from my graveyard to the battlefield. There are no lands in my graveyard, it's just a legendary graveyard. I was going to say, the head looks massive, but it's a half yeah. so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and... I don't think they've already good attacks. So he... Tom's not going to block with his commander. Uh, to be fair, I have got Vigilance. I'm going to attack Nathan. Yes. Three. That seems fair. Um, I will not block, so I'll take free damage. Okay. And it's your go. Then I'll untap. And draw. Yay, I got the Swamp. Now what do I want to do? Uh, this is going to draw a lot of attention my way, so let's just do it. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a great idea. Tap that for another block, and I'm going to play Revel in Riches. Okay. Oh, that's bad. I, I just, I just want money. I mean, you can see I am. That is a lands. massive win con in this deck. Um, isn't it? I, I, I want you to have money, mate. Yeah, I, I just want a bit of money. <laughs> I'm not really looking for the win. You can remove it. Just let me no, get no a little bit of money. No counter spells all of a sudden, mate. I, 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 all that counter spells. Well, he's now. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm quite happy for him to have it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and with that, I am just going to uh, pass the turn. I, I want you to I'll win. That. Sure. I'll play a Plains as my land for turn. Um, I'm going to tap for four to bring out Zenk Paladin Unbroken. Um, then, are we friends or is, is, is this kind of team up with Tom? How how serious is this team up with Tom? I think I mean, he is so would powerful. You like, would you like me to shut off your commander or would you like it's, to? It's, it's more of a me and Tom not attacking each other to our, to our own detriment. It's yeah. more of a, you know, let's just be sensible about things this game. So let's, let's be sensible. I'm about not specifically things. like saying it, I mean, we're against you or against Nathan or against. I'm just against uh, I think, counter spells, really. I think. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. I think. I think you should be very um, diplomatic with that and say, uh, "I'm coming after you." <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that, that is, that's like a different kind of diplomacy, that isn't it? Tom? I reckon Tom's going to start goading next turn. Oh, yeah, I, I think so too. I, yeah. I, I, I think that that is massively the plan. If I'm still alive. Yeah, you might not be alive. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. That's it for me. I'll pass the turn to Tom. Okay, I'll untap. My sad turns. I will play. Um, Sulfur Falls, because I have a, a mountain on an island, it doesn't come in tapped. Um, and then I will tap all four, five, sorry, to play Muldrifter. Oh, nice. 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 I'm nice, clear magic, not, not scary happening here. I'll uh, obviously, as it ends the battlefield, I draw two cards. You do. Which is crucial. Um, and then I have nothing else really to do. I will pass the turn to Thank my you, friend. Tom. Wallet. Thank you, my friend Tom. <laughs> I will oh, friends, 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 friends. <laughs> this is so unusual. Our viewers are going to be so confused. They're going to be like, wait, what? Wally and Tom are friends? Yeah, yeah. This isn't Chad magic. Yeah. These are imposters. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> Sometimes desperation requires yeah, drastic yeah, yeah. measures. We want blood. <laughs> wow, blood Nathan. for the love of God. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to play a forest. Then I'm going to tap for four mana to play Green Sun's Zenith. So I'm going to search my uh, library for a green creature card with mana value three or less. Great. Funnily enough, it'll be three, because I'm, I'm not going to overpay. I will find Reki, the history of Kamigawa, putting him onto the battlefield. I will then shuffle Green Sun Zenith into my library. Having shuffled up, um, what do I want to do here? I actually think I'm probably just going to ramp again. Um, so I'm going to play <laughs> Cultivate. So green gonna green. Green's gonna green. Right, so... Um, I'm actually just going to pass the turn as I do this. Um, so, go forest to the field and another one to my hand. Cool. So I will untap all my things. Ooh, a swamp. That's very nice. Um, I'm still going. So this card absolutely shuts off what I want to be doing for the most part. Uh, but it's 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 fun. Uh, so I'm going to tap four mana, uh, and this is going to be a weird one. So I don't think uh, most people know what this is. Uh, it's called Endless Whispers. Uh, so each creature, uh, so this isn't just my creatures, has when this creature is put into a graveyard from play, choose target opponent, that player puts the creature card from that graveyard into play under his or her control at the end of the turn. Is that not George Michelson? Um, it, <laughs> I mean, sort of. <laughs> that was a careless joke of you there. <laughs> he is dead. 
but yeah. Um, Thanks for that. Oh, so I see. So I like the skull clamp, and you get the things back. Okay. So yeah. You an um, engine, yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it's it's not particularly good for where I am right now, but it's it, it's it's more spice. It's more fun. Um, so I'm going to start politicking a little bit because I want. Oh, politic me, politic me. I, I like that. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to tap my front the propeller of one to equip it to my paladin. Sure. My paladin's going to die. Uh, I am then going to get two uh, cards from the skull clamp. I know you've just killed it, but isn't for one mana for one paladin is so much? Oh yeah, it's so yeah. good. For one mana, it does loads. Yeah, I know. I was going to keep it out for going, but I feel like I want to start You're this going. Get it back, though. Uh, I'm not. It goes to an opponent. Oh. Yeah, so it's not an engine for me, it's just giving it to other people. Oh, okay. So I think this is really fun. Um, so Tom asked first for the politics, and so at the end of my uh, turn, you can get my paladin. Oh, thank you. What um, is this card? Like? It's just whenever one of them dies. Did, did you draw your two as well? Uh, yeah, I draw my two, yeah. Uh, and then I will pass to... There's a trigger from Warlock pass? Oh, yeah, yeah, because uh, a creature died. We'll I lose a life. We'll lose and then pass to Christian. Okay, I'll untap, I'll draw. Will I ever lose this paladin? I oh, know it's yours. Oh, just yeah. yours. Thank um, you very much. Now, okay. when it dies, it goes to somebody else. I'm going to pay three oh. to equip my commander with the commander's plate. Great. Not great. Love that. Any response to that? No response. I, I'm a nice person. It's um, not that I'm all tapped out. I'm just a nice person. So it has a double strike. Um, I'm then going to go to combat. Um, I've got nothing. Wally's. Wally can. Yeah, I think it's coming at Wally. I think I, I've, I've, I've attacked on quite a bit. So Wally, I'm gonna um, swing Zenk at you. It's a five, seven double strike with protection from every color that's not white. I can't block. Oh dear. So what am I, what, how much am I taking? You're going to take 10 commander damage. Oof. Okay. Well, can I have a lovely dice? Oh, that's scary. Which one you So Christian is absolutely target number one for me now. <laughs> um, Christian's gonna be so sorry he was ever bored. I think I'm gonna tap for a white to play Weathered Wayfarer. I can t pay a wh white and tap it to search my library for a land card, reveal it, put it into my hand and shuffle. Activate only if an opponent controls more lands than you. Cheers, Wally. Um, <laughs> and that, I'll Just looking out for you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will untap. I will draw. I will play. I, I think we're all allied against Christian now. An island? Yes. You know what they're always saying? Christian's not the threat. That's the motto. That's the not what people say. They say Christian's not the threat. Joe really isn't the threat. Me. <laughs> I, I, I think you're pretty threatening. It's only really the revel in riches that Nathan's got that's scary. This yeah. is this is just weird. I don't know what your plan is with that. <laughs> um, so you think it's probably horrible. Friend, but if I was going to goad a creature, oh, can can you not goad it? Because it's got the command. Yeah, yeah. command yeah. this point. Ah, oh, because go mm. to go target. Yes, I think mm -hmm. so. I'm pretty sure it does, yeah, because it's go target creature. Ta target creature. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Wow. So we need to work together. Tom, obviously. Tom I'll have and Wally working together, <laughs> whatever next. Okay. I mean, I'll have a good go target. Uh, let's... Oh, well, we can't target that. So we, I think Christian's definitely the threat. Um, so let's do this. Um, let's play... Free to bring in uh, Ooh. Nahiri's uh, Warcraft. Nahiri. Nahiri's Basically, Warcraft. yeah, deals five damage to target creature, planeswalker. Um, look at top X cards of your library where X is the excess damage dealt this way. Okay. Um, so let's deal five damage to. Um, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Let's take out your bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a terrible. Resolves, but he gets the four, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't one sense to trigger this. Yeah. yeah, sad. You could have got something which would trigger the endless, and we'd have fun all around. <laughs> so you look at the top four. Yep. Yeah. And does it go to your hand, does it? No, it. You, you may play exile it. one of those cards until next time. And play it. Yeah. And play it. Is it this, this turn? turn? This turn. Okay. But it says play, so it can be a land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I've, I've had a land already, oh, haven't okay. I? So, not doing well, because um, none of them helped me. Oh, that's not great. That's not great at all, is it, really? Can you even cast any of them? Um, could I foretell it? No, because no. you can only foretell the card from your hands. Well, okay. Where's the it rest? It serves you right for choosing my bird as your target there when there's... So, like, so where, where does that? Some in a random order. Okay, we'll put, we'll, we'll put that land, because I don't care for the lands. Okay, so you've exiled that one. Yeah, and then I will go to my hand. Um, 
I will pay free to play Coronation of Chaos, targeting your three creatures. Oh, wait, you, you yeah, cast yeah. Trigger. Cast Trigger, I will target this. Okay, um, I'm gonna pay one and sacrifice the Alcius of Life Bounty yep. to give the Sram protection from red until oh. end of turn. Okay, so what he wants goaded. So that, that's gonna resolve first. Then you, you, what were you targeting with this? These three. Well, I can't. You've just, you've okay, just okay. stopped that with that because this is a red, isn't it? Oh, wait, can it be goaded now? No. No. no so, so fine. So, so I this will. Is goaded. So, so, so this is goaded. Um, we've well, already made. You already chose your target. So you I, I haven't. So. I chose this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so I've got, I've got, I've got to choose two that can't block this turn, which makes no sense. But I want to just goad them. Um, um, this is goaded. Um, in response to you targeting Doric. I'm going to give it hexproof with Tammy as in safekeeping. And you gain two? So gain two life, yeah. <laughs> well, does no one want to be goaded? <laughs> I do not understand. I want to goad, okay? And I have a third one. This is now goaded. Okay. I, I cannot block this turn. Goad go the death toucher. Yeah. Yes. Goad the death toucher. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> we are friends. This is not. Well, you don't go. You don't go I feel like friends, that escalated a little bit there. I feel like you're the one who's ended <laughs> oh. up being goaded. Um, so, do you choose the target opponent for this? Oh no! So it's um, so it's so when this creature is put into a graveyard from play, choose target opponent. That player puts a creature. So I'm pretty sure you get it, don't you? So is that not yours, or is it just do I get that trigger? No. So I each always forget. creature has when this creature. So I control this creature. Yeah. So when it controls it, it's a graveyard to play target opponent. Mm -hmm. Now I'm guessing you want to, you. Would, this is a good score comp target. For yeah. You. If you give it back to me. I'll yeah. give it to you. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Serious politics, yeah, yeah, proper yeah. politics. So. Uh, okay. I'm and pretty then, sure that's how it's supposed to work. Um, get the choice. Yeah. I will go to combat and I will send a 1-1 one, one Menacer at you and a 2-2 two, two Flyer at you, Christian. I'll take the three. Perfect. 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 Oh, I realised um, there was a creature died. Doesn't know how many creatures died that turn as well. Well... Uh, um, so my LC had died, so... It died. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be one minute, so I'll get a treasure from... Yeah, Riches. I thought Christian didn't want him to get treasures, but it looks like he's yeah, really trying for it. Giving the treasures away, yeah. Well, how how on earth is that me that's the, your target in my dog? <laughs> right. My friends. Right, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, my friends, Tom. Obviously, we had a little minor dispute there. Yeah, the well, going, friendship's but, you know, yeah. Well, Christian, me and you are still friends. Yeah. 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 Well, I'd hate to see his... We can just add my friends. free free Death Touch goaded, so one of you is going to get a tap. Interesting. Riches is pretty... I'm going to play a forest. Um, can I do it all? I can do it all. I'm going to tap for four to play Traxos, Scourge of Krug. It enters tap. Oof. Doesn't untap on my untap step, but it does untap when I cast a historic spell. A and point. I will draw a card off Reki on cast. Uh, then I will tap for another four to play Sarith, the Viper's Fang. Ooh. On cast, draw a card off Reki, untap Traxos. So Sarith, the Viper's Fang, gives tapped creatures I control Death Touch. Untapped creatures I control have hexproof. I can pay one and tap Sarith to untap another target creature or lands I control. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go to combat, shall we? Um, these two have summoning sickness. And I think what I'm going to do is attack with Doric. I'm going to swing Doric at Christian. Cool. I'm going to pay, there's an attack trigger. I'm going to pay the two to transform Doric into Doric, Albear, Avenger, Vigilance. You, you, you need to declare this attacker as well because it's goaded. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, well, that's also going Christian. Can I just say, we do also need to be a little bit careful around Nathan. You're the one making deals with him. Well, I thought we were I friends. Think Wally's determination here to attack me makes me need to take him out next turn. I, I'm not going to attack I, him next turn. I, I, well, you're, not attack, gonna... you're attacking me with what? Yeah, but I'm not, I, I also think, Christian, your threat assessment also, there, you, you, have, you have something that can take him out literally next turn. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he has so, to go after you. I'm not planning to kill anyone with this. There's a I'm not, thing I'm not going after you kill again. With like this. Like, he, I just want to swing. You were the biggest threat to, to also, Wally. I can take him out next So, turn. but you hit, you, hit me, you hit me for 10, this makes mm. it even. I'd say, Christian, mm. this thing is scarier than this. I'll tell you what, Wally, right? What if the 3-3 the three, three goes somewhere else? Stop! Take it! <laughs> take it! Stop trying to bully him into this. <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, actually. No! You know see, what? look, you've you done to him! Well, Christian's going to hit for 9. Christian's going to hit for 9 now, anyway. Just because, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take twelve. Let's go back to what do you mean? Transform. You're gonna hit for ten on and everyone here. Yeah, so, so you don't right. want to take twelve. This is Tom trying to protect himself because he knows <laughs> that it's coming. So, so, so Wally, all I'd say is, is he, he, the threat assessment here. He has to be taken out, otherwise yeah, he's going to win. If I could take Christian out right now in one swing, I would, but I can't. So I've just got to do the best I can. So why wouldn't you take him out as close as possible? Because 
next to next turn I'm gonna have more stuff and I'll have more decisions to make. Right, so I've paid the two. That means that Doric will transform into Doric Owlbear Avenger. Yep. When this creature transforms, other the other Jerry creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and trample until end of turn. So, Christian, you have a 6-6 six, six Trampler coming at you. Nathan, you have a 5-5 five, five Trampler coming at you. Oof. I'll um, take the 6. I'll, I'll take the 5. And it's commander damage as well. Yeah. You'll have a dice. Cool. Um, and at the beginning of my next upkeep, I'll transform that back. Nathan, it's your go. Cool. So I will untap my things. Let's draw that. And that, now I'm just getting swamps. Um, okay, cool. Well, that's fine. Um, so let me just count my mana. One, two, three, four. Six. Um, so yeah, I'll use six there. Uh, if I can do mass right, that's five, isn't it? Because I'm done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'll tap that for seven. And we'll uh, okay. So Phage. Um, so if you don't know what Phage does, um, if I didn't cast it from my hand, I lose the game. I didn't. <laughs> Um, so I did play it from my hand. So Hang I on, I think lose. I see what's going on here yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, whenever Phage uh, deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature, can't be regenerated. Uh, whenever Phage deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Um, so Ooh, so it's, 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 it's a potential two-person death. What? what? Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I did always say I want you. I, I, oh, I, I, that is really threatening. That uh, is very, very scary. I thought you were going to give me the Alcia back. I, I, I am at yeah. some point. At um, some point. Eventually. A I rogue imagine, wouldn't play by the well, rules. I imagine that Phage is going to get targeted, so it's very. Have you, have you got any mana? I've got two treasures, yeah. So I imagine uh, that it will come up um, in a second. Yeah. Um, however, I'm going to pay one first because Phage is already quite oppressive. Why not make it a little bit worse and give it a skull comp? I'm happy for you, mate. So she's a six free. Uh, and then I, I will just pass my turn. He's rather politic by complimenting people's cards. Yeah, Sometimes right. you've got to do yeah. desperation. Yeah, desperation. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Draw. Um, okay. Um, the skull camp is like, well, let me draw that as well. So this is goaded. So I'm going to tap a white and tap this to search for a land, uh, a land card. Mm -hmm. um, reveal it and put it into my hand. Is it any land? It is any land. And remember as well, if I block with Phage, she will die and I'll give it to an opponent and you will die. <laughs> so if anyone kills Phage, you will die. <laughs> so you have to get rid of that first. So that's really I'm bad. Gonna, that's um, really, really bad. Find a hall of Heliod's generosity. Nice. Um, guys, we actually do have to do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can make him use the Alciad, mm -hmm. right? But then someone else might have. I mean, I want Phage to die. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but you see, I have removal that won't kill okay. it. Um, mm. Well, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I have removal that will kill it. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Do you want to join a little truce? Play a hall of healing. Do you want a little flag? Um, I mean, it's only fate. I mean, somebody's going to die. Only, only lose the game. Whether, straight yeah, away. I mean, whether it's me or whether it's somebody else, somebody will die. I like that you made yourself the threat. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate um, it. Yeah. So I'm going to tap. Although I do want to play heal. Tap for one. Um, for pacifism, targeting phage. Okay. Ah, oh, that's quite good. Does it result? So, cast trigger, I'll draw a card. Um, do you know what? I think I have to, so I'm going to have to do that just so there's a chance I'll sack my treasure, sack this. Okay. That'll yeah, go so in the graveyard. Well, do, do I not get. I'll honour that deal. I'll yeah, do, I'll we do, do that. that on that deal. Yeah, I'll honour the deal. So, if pacifism doesn't result. Yeah, yeah so it's got to be taken away. But you don't get it right away, do you? Not right away, no. Okay, It'll so, be at the end of step, yeah. So, my, on my end step, I get this. Then I'm going to tap for. Uh, oh, this is tap. I'm going to tap for three mm -hmm. um, for Squire's Devotion. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has lifelink. That's pretty um, good. When it enters, I create a vampire with... Oh, that's not a vampire. So what's your commander now? One sec. Create a vampire with lifelink. My commander is now a six, seven, double strike. <laughs> Not, um, not great. And I think... Um, uh, are we... Uh, how, uh, I'm really worried about the phage. 
I mean, it's a one and done. I can't do anything. If it dies as well, I think it just gets removed because it's from the. I, I think you would, you'd oh, have trigger from Sram, I draw. You'd have yeah. to go for it mm. with, the, with, with the command. I know, but you've been a pain. <laughs> I actually <laughs> haven't, to you, be fair. I don't think you've been a pain. At all. If anything, I'll just goad it, really. You're just salty about that count. But if then you go it, yeah, that's what I'm worried yeah, about. Yeah, because it'll die in some capacity. I think yeah, the, yeah, I think that's the what right thing to do here. I mean, swing it next turn. And I'm going to swing at you, Nathan. Yep. So it is a six. Seven double strike protection from every color that isn't. Uh, so I can't block it, even though no, it's from white, I still can't block, can I? No. No. So I'll have to take the. Is it 12 commander damage? Um, you're going to take, um, yeah, 12 commander damage, and I'm going to gain 12. Cool. Everything's yeah, pretty scary. Three, four, five, six, there we go. Okay. Uh, on end set, this um, Alcea is going to come mm -hmm. back, mm -hmm. and then we're all going to take a yeah. life from Warlock class. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll pass it to Okay, I will untap. I will draw. I will play a land. It doesn't come intact because I control an island. Okay, well, I, I, I don't see any real good moves. Um, like between Christian's commander and the phage, it's... Uh, well, I've just realized, by the way, sorry, my enchantment had exalted so you take another one, okay. and I gain another one and another commander, yeah. Ooh. Sorry, Ooh. Read, 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 read what your cards do. <laughs> now this is where I could politics and say if anyone wants somebody dead, you just well, need to we, throw a big we, creature We can have a chat on my turn, yeah. Nathan. Yeah. have a chat on my turn. Okay, um, I will pay two. <laughs> Turn, <laughs> the <land over. laughs> Turn the land over. To <laughs> foretell. <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. My, yeah. my brain. Yeah. Yeah. Th there is a lot of. Yeah. Th <laughs> there is a lot of big brain plays right now, and my brain only has so much capacity. Yeah. He he is being foretold. Um, it is foretold. It is foretold. Um, I will then pay five to play my enchantment. Mesolurgical summoning. Ooh, nice. Oh, so it's a bit like Shark Typhoon. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, nothing crazy. Um, I feel like we all are friends right now. Well, I feel like Wally's trying to get one of us out of the game. I, I can't. I don't think I can take anyone out. No, I'm no, just no, scared no, of a phage. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, what I, if I said phage is going to swing? I, funny enough, and I'm not going to do a single thing, and I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I'm not worried. We're not necessarily worried about this. We're worried about. We're dying. Um, oh, it's not going to die. Even draw. It's just, just there. Okay. But we're friends anyway, so I know yeah. it's not going to. Going to play Plaza of Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, if I destroy the phage, who are you going to give it to? I don't know, I was going to just roll the dice because it's D&D. Uh, &D. I think this is a bit of a, 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 a minging mm. deal from Wally because I can shut off the phage on my turn and I'm willing to do that for the team. Wally, typical not a team player, mm. is thinking about how he can do things, but I don't have to shut off the phage. But if you do a deal with Wally, mm. then I'm going to Well, the thing, is, the thing is, if you do the deal, Christian will be dead, so the politics doesn't matter. I can destroy phage and then you it just depends on who you want to give it to. In all honesty, I wanted to kill two people with Phage, but <laughs> on my upkeep, by the way, that will, my commander will split yeah. back over to its original side. Um, I think I'm just going to, right, so Nathan, obviously you were very non-committal with the deal, yeah. but I think I'm still going to see what happens. This might end up taking me out of the game, but <laughs> what better way to go? I'm going to play Cogler, the Titan Oof. 8. When it enters the battlefield, it's fight. it fights the Phage. Okay. Um, so yeah, so it fights Phage, Phage is going to die. Uh, there'll be a trigger. Um, I am going to draw it lands on uh, two cards oh, from no. the Skull Cramp. Um, and then do you want, yeah, I'm going to roll... Mm. Do, you want a, do you want a d6? Yeah, give me a d6 just a to one, make it two, easier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. 6. Yeah, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we go. Four. It's That's Tom. 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 Um, so... Don't worry, Tom. Yeah. Well, it doesn't happen on your end step. Oh, yeah, it's until, yeah, yeah. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. What's my best friend um, going to do for me? So, and I will draw a card <laughs> off Racky. There will yeah. also be a trigger on Traxos, but Traxos yeah. is already untapped. Oh, so um, you're going to me instead. Go to combat. Now, when my creatures tap, they will mm. gain death touch. Yep. Nathan, I'm going to go, yeah, so I can. I don't need to go full send. I'm going to swing at you with Sarah, yep. with Traxos, and with Doric. Oof. On attack, I'm going to pay the two to transform Doric yep. into Doric, Albert, Avenger. So what that means is I'll be coming at you with a 5-6 Trampler, a 9-9 nine, nine Trampler, and a 6-6 six, six Trampler for 20 damage precisely. Yeah, so I'm dead. Wow, how interesting. Sorry, um, Nathan. So that doesn't trigger then? Yeah, because Nathan's dead before yeah. it happens. Yeah, yeah. Poor Nathan, honestly. Exactly. Boy. And uh, Christian is... Well, okay, yes, yeah, so it's your turn. My go, I'll Christian. untap. You're giving it to Tom sure. now? I'll play a Plains as my land for turn. Um, I will tap for two, 
and I'm going to cast Realm Breaker's Grasp, enchanting the Cogler. What does it do? Can't yeah. attack. Or Can't block. attack or block. There's a trigger. Oh, hang on, all of my tap untap features are hexproof. Oh, okay, all the untapped ones. Yes. Okay, I can't do that then. Right. Let me go back a bit. <laughs> right, we'll go to combat. And uh, Wally, I'm gonna swing. Oh, don't take me out of the game. Jenk at you. It's just gonna... I am I mean, avenging Nathan. I know. I was gonna say, says you. Who yeah, yeah. yeah I'm avenging game. Nathan. Nathan's been nothing but a team player. Exactly. Roll the dice, and Wally, um, you roll the dice too. So I'm going to swing at you with. Uh, it's got exalted. So three. Well, it doesn't matter. Four, five, six, damage. seven. They've been gaining life. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I will. I will gain twenty-four. Dice <laughs> nice commander damage. <laughs> and do you know what? Because I'm feeling. Nice, Tom. I'm going to want to give you a chance. I'm going to tap three. I was going to potentially do this first, but I was worried I might give Wally a card. For Love Song of Night and Day, you and target opponent draw two cards. Thank you. So we will draw two cards each. Um, I'm then going to tap for three. You cannot let Christian win, Tom. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know how I come back from this. Well, maybe I do. For a... Heliod's Pilgrim. Of course. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for an aura card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle. I'm going to take a Hyena Umbra, which goes to my hand. I'm going to tap a Plains. I'm going to cast the Hyena Umbra, targeting Zenk. I'll draw a card from Sram. And I will pass the turn to Tom. Okay, I will untap. A very sad turn. Um, you need to draw something big here, Tom. Yeah, yeah, some I, kind of... yeah I do. Um, maybe you've, you've foretold the end. Okay. I... You know what I do like, though? Mm -hmm. The Paladin is the good guy. I'll pay six for the yeah, foretell cost. You're the bad guy. I mean, you never showed up. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, yeah, you never got to play your commander. I know, I know. So sad. Right, I know. I'll play my foretell. Okay. Oh! oh! Creatures without flying or island wall can't attack. That is a great play. Oh, <laughs> that, that is, that is really, play. really, really good. Okay. So that kind of pulls me back in a little bit. So Christian can't block it because all of his lands are islands as well. In addition to their other types, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I will then pay two to foretell a card. Okay, so you can only you can only attack with flying. Okay, yes, the Mull Drifter will come in the air at you, Christian, for two. Okay, I can't block. Okay. <laughs> right, here we go. Such yeah. a nasty blue card, Storm Tide Leviathan. <laughs> right, you'll go. Right, I'll untap. This re that really changes things. I will. Uh, it, it gives me a hope, but yeah. I always know with Christian that's not what I'm play. Yeah. A planes. That's my for two. Um, I'm going to tap for two for Realm Breaker's Grasp on the Storm Tide Leviathan. It cannot attack or block or its activated abilities can't be attacked. Oh, right. Draw a card. So at the moment, Mull Drifter, the 2-2, two -two, is the only thing that can attack. Yeah. So it's, yeah. but Christian, you've got 30 turns to figure this out. <laughs> Oh, I make I make a bird. Oh, well. there you oh, go. Oh, I'm, there you I'm, go. I'm, 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 I make a bird. So you can um, get me for one. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> um, I'm then going to tap for four for a core cartographer, um, and I will go and find uh, a planes. It's the um, it's a solemn simulacrum at home. We'll go to combat and none of my creatures that can attack have flying or island walk, so I will pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I will untap. Make sure you untap that wall drifter yeah. as well, so obviously oh, yeah. you can attack. Yeah. Okay. Not I, oh, sorry. I, I will draw for turn. Uh, no, 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 that's fine. I was, I was just going to say to the viewers at home, you know how everyone's always ripping me for saying white is the strongest colour of magic? Um, I will play Steam Vents, I'll post. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Take that, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Uh, uh, okay, I will then pay one red to attach and chunk my creature. With Dragon Mantle. Yeah. It gives it fire breathing. Yeah, um, when it okay. enters the battlefield, draw a card. Um, I will then pay three blue to play. Um, Propaganda. Propaganda. Um, creatures can't attack you unless the control plays two for each creature. Did a little bit of So you have to go to creature that I control. <laughs> <laughs> Completely not relevant. Mm -hmm. I do. Well, I will target uh, the bird. Yeah, yeah. that's going to attack you anyways. Okay, let's let's just go for it, hey. Um, so I will pay one, two, three, oh, for fire breathing. four. For fire okay, breathing. So it's going to be a six. I'm going to take six. Are you attacking with it, yeah? Of, of course I'm attacking right, with so it. Right, so I take six. 
And yeah, that's a... That's okay. my turn. Then step, I'm gonna pay two and tap the Hall of Helium's Generosity to put the all that glitters on top of my library. So okay. I'll go to my turn, I'll untap, and I'll draw <laughs> my all that glitters. Massive. Um, I'm going to... Does this up this Oh yeah, thank you. This up to, I put a plus one, plus one count on each up to two creatures. I'm gonna choose the bird, and I'm gonna choose the vampire. Uh, then this will go. Um, right, then I'm going to play an idyllic range, which comes in untapped, and I get a plus one, plus one counter. I'm gonna put it on the bird. Then I'm going to tap for two for a core spirit dancer. Whenever you cast an aura spell, you may draw a card. He gets plus two for every aura. I'm gonna pay two for an all that glitters. Cast trigger, I'll draw two cards. I think Christy. Um, so all that glitters mm -hmm. goes onto the bird. So it's now uh, nine, nine. Um, and then I'm going to pay five to equip the commander's plate to it. So it's a 12, 12, and I'm gonna swing at you for 12. I'll take 12. You did make me swing it. I could have maybe not, not swung it. <laughs> As if. <laughs> yeah, and I'll pass the turn. Okay, I will untap my very sad turn. You've got to wait this turn. Mm. Oh, I had to pay two to do that, sorry. So I'll, I'll pay the two to do it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll draw a card. It doesn't make a difference. It's not, it's not no, it's not, not going to do it. It's not going to do it. Um, I'll pay two to bring in the ledger shredder. Yeah, Ooh, nice. it's a blocker. Oh, no, I've got protection. No, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to come at you for. I, I'm not even going to pump him. I'm not even going to pump him. I'm just going to come at you for two. Okay, two. Take that. All that mighty two. My go. Yeah. I just realised as well, and everyone's going to be commenting this. I made a misplay. I again forgot that all my auras have exalted. So I should have, I should have hit the you for a bit more. Yeah. Of your yeah. 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 I don't really think it's going uh, to matter. Can you just attack me? Right, I'll play a fair basilic, comes in tapped. Um, so I'll go to combat, I'll swing the, the bird, which is, let's work out what it is, because one, two, three, so it's got, I've got, I'm oh, sorry, four auras, so it's actually a 16, 16 bird. And I. Yes, Paladin! <laughs> yeah! Good game. Good game, guys. Good game. Good game, good game. Good game. Interesting really game. Say yeah. over. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Cassius is it's most over. impressed with uh, the victory there. Mm. So there you have it. There's the D and D uh, commanders. What did you guys think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I um, I found the rogue to be very roguelike. The rogue was very roguelike. I love the flavour of the owl there as well. You know, transforming all your creatures get bigger. And stuff yeah, like that. yeah, it's cool. I, I think I'm going to keep this deck together. I really like it. I, I'm going to keep mine. I might run light paws instead, but I I like the deck together. I feel like this rogue didn't show. That's what a rogue does. That's what a rogue does. So maybe, yeah. maybe he was there, but he was sneaking. Yeah. He was well, he was hiding. Just, he was just <laughs> He's just there to collect the royalty, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, that's actually it. Well, thanks, Nathan, for coming on. Oh, Again, exactly. always great to have you. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back with the post game wrap. Don't go anywhere. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Yes. Someone's got to stop you from winning on the show. No, well. I mean, Christian is always the threat. I, w I wouldn't say I'm always the threat. I would say more Christian is often the threat. Christian is always the threat. <laughs> Tell us in the comments what you think. Yeah, let us know what you think about that. Well, one thing I'm sure the viewers can agree on is the good guy did win this time. Well, undeniably, the Paladin won. But <laughs> what a game. I thought some of the plays that were going around were absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed playing with those cards. I think the commanders are so flavorful and so true to yeah. how the film goes. If you haven't seen the film, by the way, get out there and watch it. It's really, really good. And as a lover of Dungeons and Dragons, I mean, we've even got our D&D characters on wow. the table in front of us. Yeah, we've got Cassius here, the Paladin, and then we've got your Barbarian, Dusty. Dust, Dusty the Sharkborn Barbarian. <laughs> like, honestly, after playing D&D, I just feel like I really want to go and play more Dungeons and Dragons now. Yeah, it's been too. about a year since we played, actually. Yeah, so. yeah, I think we're going to throw down some dice pretty soon. Yeah, the, the deck's played really good. I think the great thing about them is when you first read the Commanders, you're like, this isn't too powerful, but if you build the decks in the right yeah. ways, I think it, you know, it's you crazy. You really have some fun, yeah. Yeah, I actually really like yours with the like the legendary tribal. I think that's a really, really cool yeah, way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commander's Plate, though, got to be the MVP. Oh, the Commander's game. Plate is crazy good, yeah. Nothing we could do about that. It was so powerful. Yeah. I can't believe Tom had the way to remove it and didn't. Yeah, I, I was thinking that. What did he, he remove the construct instead? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Tom, what do you like? <laughs> but yeah, let us know what you thought of the episode. Uh, leave us a comment down below. You know, send us an email. You know, whatever you want to do. 
Um, but make sure as well you enter our great competition. Yeah, and it's really easy. If you want to win this Dominari Remastered Draft Booster Box, all you've got to do is firstly subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't want to enter the competition, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah, do but that if anyway. you want to win, share one of our videos on social media, any social media you like, and just send a picture of you having done it to the channel's email address, which is going to be below. Then when we get to 5,000 subscribers, one person who's done all those things will have their name drawn out of the hat and this will go in the post straight to you anywhere in the world free of charge no questions asked just let us know what card you get yeah well technically one question asked there please let us know what card you get we're really interested <laughs> in knowing that um, yeah and for those of you who want to be a super fan uh, check out our Patreon um, it's only one pound or one dollar a month uh, to come out and get out with us on our Discord server uh, you can chat to us you know talk to us about what decks are coming up and all that type of stuff sure uh, you hang out not just with us but with uh, previous guests from the show and uh, a big thank you to our patrons now which we'll bring up on screen we love you guys you guys rock uh, thanks for supporting the show and we'll uh, catch you next time on Chad Magic bye for now bye for now